Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about helmets. And so what we've got here is, is we've got a base jumping helmet. Uh, this is from a company called Fast, I believe. Um, but all of them are gonna be pretty much about the same. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're actually going to be doing this in like a Vietnam tiger stripe pattern. So a really cool pattern. Um, and this one, because it is just a half helmet like this right here, we're gonna be able to do it all in one dip. Now, a couple of things to remember is that uh, with this right here, of course, we've got it already painted all the way around. We've got it prepped out. Of course, if you have any questions on that, uh, we've got a couple of other videos that you can definitely check out on. Um, but this is already prepped out. Out, ready to go the only thing that we're going to do is we're going to tape up these holes that are right here in this top mainly just to make sure that we don't get any water to come up through these holes so then that way whenever we're dipping of course nothing blows out and then we have a very good pattern all the way around so of course the other thing is going to be is that this area right here it's more than likely going to trap a little bit of air in some of these corners so on something like that we can't really help that so of course that's going to be something that we're definitely going to have to just come in and do a small touch up after it's all finished but we've already got this all uh, ready to go so let's go ahead get it on the table lay out our film and get this thing dipped and show you guys the end result All right, so now that we've got that all done, we've got it cut, we're gonna lay it in the water here. Now this is an expanding film. So of course with this one right here, you can see it's expanding out. We're going to let that expand and then we're gonna go ahead and pull our dividers in. Once we've got that in, then we're gonna take our uh, activator, spray it over the top of it. Of course, one pass over the whole thing and then go ahead and start dipping from there. So we'll pull our dividers in in a pretty tight pattern here just like that. And then now we're able to go ahead and dip the pattern, dip it into the part after we get it activated. So of course we've got one minute on the water at around 80 to 90 degrees. Right now we're sitting at about 84, so we're right in the middle of it. All right, so we've got this all dipped, and so now we're ready to go ahead and rinse it off. So of course, we have a lot of this excess PVA that we have to rinse off. So once we get all of this rinsed off, then we'll go through, do any minor touch-ups that we might need, maybe in this area or anywhere around the object, and then of course, get it clear-coated. And once we get it clear-coated, then we'll go ahead and show you guys the end result, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. So. Let's get started. All right, so we've got this all cleared and everything came out looking amazing with this. So of course, as you can tell, we've done all the little necessary touch-ups that we needed to do. Now again, with something like this, you're gonna have a little bit of that stretch coming around here, coming around there. There's almost no way to prevent that whenever you're going all the way around something this round and it does have this area that pulls back like this. But um, all in all, I think this turned out really good. So hopefully this video is really helped you guys out of course if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them in the section below in the comment section below uh, we'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related as well as if you would have done anything differently with this or if you got some different techniques definitely let us know as well also if you haven't already definitely hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related i'm brian from liquid concepts and this is how we customize your world we'll see you guys next time